sure, guys, to check out FirstPersonLover.com. That's, of course, uh, the fashion brand that is uh, Bjorn Borg putting on, the, uh, putting on this tournament here. So be sure to check out the site, play the game, test yeah. your speed skill, like speed running skills. Yeah, against Summer and I. Yeah, man, because we're up there. Both got around 25 minutes there. You're ahead of me, though, man. I've got... By, uh, like, two minutes. Yeah. And I did get to see you start first, so I had, like, a little bit of an edge. Yeah. So I was um, learning. It was, yeah. it was a fun game, actually. Surprisingly fun. I started having a bit... Because the weapons aren't too bad, actually. You figure out that the shotgun, this gun right here, is actually pretty good. Yeah. All right, so you kind of just, like, stun, shotgun, and then L just kind of, like, plow little through. Little tip, conserve your ammo. Yeah, I um, I nearly, I nearly tore the keyboard in half with the boss fight. That was really, <laughs> dude, really. Wow, dude, when I went up against Putin. <coughs> yeah, yeah, that's interesting. You fight, you're fighting Putin at the end. It seems. Well, we're gonna go into it here. LGB, they get start on the slightly more favored side here, and uh, if they could with the pistol, then good news to them. But they're fighting, what? Two deagles and three Glocks. It's a very CIS thing as well. This buying deagles I in the in don't the pistol. Even know what to think. Um, it's going to be smoke and flashbangs on Adrian as well. He's all the way over in the apartment, so it's going to probably take a while. Could see them ending up at B, and if they do, leaving Flamey behind at A, it can work. But they get the opening. That's great. Doja, the Deagle, man. It comes into play. Jacob will get a return kill, and then they're going to fall back just a little bit. If they get Polly inside here, they should move quick on this A bomb site. Open it up for the incoming bomb as well. Rain rotating in here. Good angle. Polly, though. Not hitting the shots, and he's going to get flashed out. Well, Rain inside, and then Polly. A little bit of backup, and he's going to step it up majorly. Gets the headshot on Flamey, and it's a 2v4 right now. 1v3 is as though he's just the last man standing, and he's being chased down. But look at this restraint on Rain. He's not going all in. He's just sort of using the box for cover, and now they're all going to peek him, and Rain will get the kill. That's actually very nice to see, because Rain could have could have had the confidence then to just say, all right, I'll just go and man fight him, but... He actually played it very safe all the way up to the end. So smart play. No, no, it was more of a kitten fight, really. Yeah. You know, small little scratches all along. And that, that eventually that wore Doja down. <clears throat> I mean, those kittens, man, they they can be relentless. You know, I'm telling you, we had like 10 of them at the good studio at one point. You had to fear for your life at certain points there, man. When Chinese eating, torture, death by flowers, that, thousand blades. <laughs> death by a thousand kitten claws. <laughs> like, those things are vicious. So, I mean, I'm thinking, you know, Rain, he channeled his inner kitten. He got the job done. And LGB, that was actually just, you know, all joking aside, that was just perfect play, as you say, man. Kept himself alive, waited for the rotation to come in from the B site, and at that point, they took the fight as three. There was nothing Doja could do at that point. Even if Doja gets one, he's not getting out of there alive. And now Rubino, pro 90, but he gets run and gun, the crouch spray. Rain is still here, however, and they decide to still peek him. He almost got Kucha there as well. In fact, he will pick up Kucha right here. So that's now a triple for Mars. Still plenty of bullets. He makes it an ace in the end. Rain. Eco Warrior here, going to be picking up two um, two rounds for LGB. That's really good. Seven zero and zero, always a respectable scoreline to start off with. Yeah, it looked like Hellraiser could have had that opening. I mean, once you get that opening, Frank, you know you're onto something. But yeah. they kind of ended up fighting a little bit too much at the little pit. Yeah, plenty of money in the bank as well for Rain in that round. So he's going to be very <coughs> pleased. We can see just full equip, full equipment on LGB side. Hellraiser's going for the buy here. No matter what happens, they want to try and catch LGB off guard pretty much. Good dodges on the HEs. And that last one there, I think uh, the roof soaked up a little bit of the damage. Those should probably have uh, taken a bit more there. Still. Yeah, look good. This isn't looking too shabby for LGB. Because Hellraiser's... Okay, they've got rifles, but Adrian's the only man with the smoke. They have one smoke and three flashes to work with right now. And if they aren't winning the duels, this is going to go south for Hellraiser's. What 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 is the like the, the Norwegian national food? Because it's not it's not going to be meatballs. What what are they going to get a taste of next? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I want to say like fried moose or something, but um, <laughs> it probably isn't, is it? It's probably it's probably some sort of fish. I'm I'm sure. I can see that happening. I shouldn't know more. Somebody tweeted us what it is. Like our our ignorance of uh, both CIS and Norwegian food is is quite astounding, really. Help us out, guys. In the meantime, they're actually rotating back to A, which seems like it's a really good call. There's been uh, a call for pause as well, so hopefully that's not anybody's disconnecting or anything. They seem to be all on the server and moving around, so hopefully just a minor issue. 
Good position here from Rubino. Should be able to catch probably one kill and then uh, maybe also stay alive for a little bit. He will get that one on Kucha and then falls back. It's always a really good angle, that one. It's hard to judge exactly when people are going to be there. Rain inside has already spent some bullets here. Takes a long fight and comes out short against Adrian, but there's still so many people here. Not a lot Adrian can do. He's got no time anyway. If he could have got a bomb plant, that would have actually been big, but now he's just going to be hiding and saving. And they don't have any ET grenades and servers. I think he's too far away with the Molotov anyway. So, not that much of a successful round after all there for, uh, for Hellraisers. <clears throat> it looked like the call to go A was actually a really smart one, though. But um, they just couldn't find that entry frag that they needed. Yeah, they weren't able to get it quick enough. If they were able to pick off Rain initially after he peeked behind the boxes, then maybe they can start just, like, really <coughs> spinning out of control and Hellraisers can get onto that site fast. But the fact that Rain stuck around, you already have the rotation coming in. Even that extra second means the difference between them actually getting onto that site, Hellraisers. So, Hellraisers, I was expecting a bit more out of them, actually. You know, I know it's the beginning of the first map here, but I was expecting a bit more out of them, you know, going up against LGV. Versus what they experienced versus Envy. Yeah, I mean, they, they formed up on Inferno. That's actually true. They've got just a little bit of taste in there. Um, so, they, I, mean, I think they can, they can still show us a lot more. That round could have worked out for them pretty well. Mm. Um, they just they didn't get a lot of chance. And they, I mean, the way that they peaked Rubino as well, it was just really just one guy peaking him by the, uh, by the pillar that's in the, in the CT spawn, essentially, by Archway. Yeah, that's always um, such a tough place. Yeah, it's a tough place, and when you peek him alone, that also means Rubino can just walk away. Yeah. Like, if they, had been, if they had been, like, two or three people peeking that angle, maybe Rubino gets one, maybe two if he's extremely lucky, but he at least won't walk away from that situation. He kind of did, so... Um, but that's very much Hellraisers. Again, they take individual fights, and there's not much of a chance for a refrag, and that's, like, one of the most frustrating things about watching them. When it works, they, they just kill everybody all across the map. They win all the fights and that's it, you know, home safe. It just doesn't feel like it works often enough. No, like They never doesn't really feel that seem way. to stick it. <clears throat> and uh, this time it's actually Rain opening up and taking down the one rifle they had. Adrian did have rifle armor, now they just have the rifle. So let's see, it's that CIS uh, AK again. <clears throat> yeah, going back a long ways. Flashbang out, Seven's gonna take the peak, but too they late. were actually ready for that. Yeah, way too slow there by, uh, by Zevez. Luckily, Polly is here to plug the gap. He's going just for flat spray. Angel's going to be able to make a pass and pick up the M4, however. But then he runs right into rain. Coacher does manage to return a frag. But those is too far away to really have an impact with this AK. This AK would have been huge if Hellraisers had it pushing onto this site. That could have made the difference. But now Doja has to go into a 1v3. Polly's going to spot him out. And no Kevlar means you get aim punch. <laughs> means most likely you're going to die. It's upsetting even to watch when it happens to someone else, isn't it? You feel like, oh, come on. Yeah. Game punch. I don't stand a chance. Well, it's still early days for Hellraisers, and they're on the less favored side, so I'm not too panicked yet. And I don't like the fact that Kucha has picked up an AWP uh, so soon in the half here. Two Molotovs as well. Let's see what they can, uh, what they can you know, make work with it. I wish they would... Uh, Wish they try and do what they did earlier, essentially. Like, push up to B, show yourself there, and then fall back to A quickly. Especially if you have two people already waiting there. If they push in by the time that LGB have three members in, in B, that's mm. a pretty good deal for you. You're going to be happy with that. That means you have a 2v2 going on in A. If you get even one kill, or even just delay long enough for the rest of your three members to come in, they're going to be there before the ter before the CTs will. Like, the rotation time from T-Banana, as opposed to inside the B-bomb site, is way longer for the CTs to get to A than it is for the Ts there. They can be way further back, and it just works better. Well, it's looking like it's going to be an A play here this time around, because Kucher, with this AWP, Hellraisers are clearly <coughs> counting on him to take command of these angles and open up the open up the map, basically. They want to catch somebody peeking on LGB's side. Only problem is, LGB, they're reacting in a very smart way right now. They heard that op shot. Now they know that Kucher could be lurking around here, and the smokes go down, meaning it's kind of safe to move back up again. But before that, they know they cannot peek with, uh, because they're running the risk of Kutcher picking them off and giving that entry, entry frag to Hellraisers. So Hellraisers now, knowing that they aren't going to have any joy over here on the A site, they decide to try and switch it up and go B. But that AWP is not going to be as useful over here. Oh, Ruben with that pick off there. Basically giving away the whole plan that uh, Hellraisers had in mind here. A lot of smokes and flashbang raining into B, but they've got 15 seconds left. At this point, not even Navi would be pleased. So Severs hiding by Oranges. is going to take down one. Goes for a second one. Good job here on Severs. He almost gets a third one there. In fact, Kucha very nearly burning alive. Four seconds left. The plant, is it going to go through? Angel is there, and he does put in the last number and then dies very swiftly. Good job from Severs, who could a little bit invisible on Dust2, but you know, he's stepping it up already here. And it's going to give it a 4-0 lead here. 5-0 lead, sorry, in fact, for LGB. So 
good uh, good job on their part. And I did get an update in the meantime. A lot of people saying that in the national dish in uh, in Norway, something for called um, farikol, which I'm guessing is some sort of um, cabbage with with something else. Um, a lot of people saying some salmon as well. This is that it's, does it's sound not very Scandinavian. It's not very clear yet. It's not very clear. <laughs> Forikol? Forikol? I don't know how to pronounce that. I mean, I should, because... Give, give, give it to me, give it to me. Maybe I'll do a better job. Yeah, you do a better job. Let me see. I mean, Danish and Norwegian is essentially the same, so I'm probably, like, embarrassing myself. I'm sorry, guys. Forikol? Yeah, there it is. What the hell is that? Whoa, it looks really tasty, though. <laughs> People sending pictures as well. No, it's not... Yeah, but it's not kor. It's kor. It's like K-A-umlaut L. Yeah. All right, we'll get back to that in a, <laughs> a little bit later. Um, the food talk will continue. Just rounding a minute on the clock here into the se sixth round, and we'll see if um, Hellraisers can pick up something. They've got the bomb over at second mid, and they're all at the middle. This looks like a clear mid push. Um, question is, are they going to get the pick off to go either Archer or Quad? Rain flashing out, just trying to buy a little bit of time, and they have a good setup for this LGB. Jacob going to open up with a pick. Ruben or flashes his way back. With Flamey with a good return kill now. The opening is there, and they got to pounce on it here. Ruben with one kill, goes for a second, and it's a triple kill for the Norwegian player before he finally goes down. No, actually, I think one of them was stolen by Jacob there, so only a double. Doji and Flamey, though, now they're taking a long time, considering that LGB basically know what's up. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually surprised. Uh, 20 <coughs> seconds. Right now, I'd actually like to see the rotation come out, because there's only one guy here that they've seen. Now they see the second one there. Doja managing to get the drop on him, but Flamey's taking too much damage, and that bomb has dropped too far away. Nine seconds left, and once again, Hellraiser's just running out of time. LGB doing such a good job of running down this clock. It's very clear right now that Hellraiser's, they're looking for entry frags. Like, that's what they're desperately hoping for, that LGB will just give them that first frag. That LGB are playing, doing such a good <coughs> job of peeking, but only peeking very quickly, and then falling back to the site. Making it so the Hellraiser's have to commit before they can, anything can happen for them. But then you're running into the likes of Rain, Rubino, Jacob. I mean, these guys are woken up right now. And there you go. Rain just sprays down Kutcher, does half damage to Angel. I mean, this is pain right now for Hellraisers. It definitely is. And um, they're just not really able to connect there. They get the opening, oh, but no. they also killed Doja. That's a team kill in the middle. Flamey getting a little bit too excited. So, I don't know. One step forwards, one step back. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, this isn't looking too hot here now. Hellraisers, I mean, two flashes. They don't even have a smoke for pit. They have to land this kill on Rubino. Like Rubino, Jacob, they're just holding solid. Jacob in the pit as well. That's exactly where he needs to be. They don't have anything to get rid of him with. Like they literally have two flashes to get onto this site with. And now the rotation has already come in from Zevez. He's going to be in the perfect position to get the backstab. If Rubino goes down, Zevez needs to pounce. Uh, he is coming in rather quickly. There's still a guy in pit that they have to deal with. Sevis is there. He let one, he lets one guy by, but he's got another chance here looking for Angel. Not going to win the battle. Great job on Angel's part here. We are into a 2-1-2. Two, two. 30 seconds, a lot more time this time, but Jacob still doing a lot of damage from down here. And now Angel, he's got to move quick or less. You know, backup's going to come in here. It's only going to get worse. Second for second, Angel is going to be in a worse position. He walks in here, does get the kill, but then... Holly's shown up, and those that those are the vital seconds. The moment he has stayed just a little bit, and Polly's gonna get closer and closer. Rain currently top fragging, but everyone else on LGB doing a pretty fine job. Seven and zero right now. Hellraisers aren't getting a breakthrough right here. No, they are not. And Jacob is the real hero of that round, pretty much for LGB. Because Zevez Zevez was a step too late, and then he missed that duel. He he lost that duel. So that's the problem. If Jacob dies in the pit, Hellraisers, that's the thing. It's coming down to these single players that are just ruining Hellraisers' rounds. Every time Hellraisers look like they can get an edge, either it's Rain or Jacob or Rubino, they're just there to mess them up. This time around, it was Jacob just staying alive in the pit and allowing for Polly to rotate through. But there's the opening. And there's the headshot. Nice one there by Flamey. Oh, so we will love seeing and now Jacob's gonna come up even bigger than last time because there's a lot of people coming but they are really not that fast again they should be way quicker than this on the Hellraiser side excellent grenade gonna bring Adrian down to 20 health and Jacob is just proving a real uh, real troublemaker down in pit Flamey got picked off here as well Ruben are not controlling the spray so it's gonna be up to Polly again Hellraiser's making their way through this time good job on their part could be the first round for them here yeah I think this heavily favors Hellraiser's at this point <coughs> Polly's only got the AWP as well. He's so far away. 
I'm actually not really pleased with Polly and how long it's taken him for to, for him to rotate over to that A site. Like every every time, it seems like he could be there five seconds earlier, but he's just still sitting over on the B site. And now, so much time has burned off this clock. He might as well back up now. Just save the AWP at this point because you're not going to get it done, Polly. No, I agree. Not really going to happen. Shot in the back as well. <clears throat> An AWP surrendered to the terrorist side. But it's always really hard to know in those situations whether or not it's Polly being a little bit um, out of the loop or if he's getting a call from his teammate saying, don't rotate yet, we don't know what's happening. Yeah. Uh, like, it, that's that's really, really hard to judge. But it does seem like he's a little bit late. Um, whether it's his fault or someone else's, well, we'd have to listen to the team speak and also be able to understand Norwegian. Or actually Danish. All of these LGB guys speak Danish really well, which I'm impressed by. Well, they all live in Denmark, don't they? Yeah. Like, Zevez lived uh, there, Rubino lives there now. <clears throat> yeah, it, was, it, it freaked me out the first time. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> What's happening? See, that's the thing, man. Half the time I forget that you are Danish, Sanders. And then you start talking on the phone, and I'm like, what? <laughs> it happens every time, too. Yeah, I was weirdly, last time I was on the plane home, I was sitting next to a girl who said I sounded Australian, which I was like, all right. <laughs> she was from Chicago, so I don't know if that's the thing. Oh, well, there you go. There's your reason, then. Polly looking down the middle, and she, oh, he's going to go down. Nice peek from Kucha. That's the kind of opening they need now. This is where most teams should be able to to just get a little bit more info. If they force them back top banana, well, then they will have done really, really a good job. And they can just peek around the corner in there and spot out whoever is. I can't actually see who that is. Is that Severs? Yeah, Severs holding. Mm -hmm. I'd say B right now is a really good pick. When you're a man up, B is always a, a good uh, site to hit. It's a good place to be right now. There's a rotation coming out as well. I believe that's Rain who's starting to work his way through Speedway. Problem is now Jacob spotted Adrian. He, I think he spotted the bomb, or he should have spotted the bomb there as well. So that should be the instant rotation to come back. Two guys down on the A site, and all the remaining members for Hellraisers are working their way here, but Rubino catches out Angel, and he's going for more. Rain is here. He's going to find Doja. They're just getting picked off one at a time, Hellraisers. Essentially, not much of a chance for a refrag here. Kucha pretty much has to run away and save the AWP. There's too much of that going on. The whole concept of uh, grouping up and pushing together somewhere is just not something they favor a lot currently, which is going to put them at a very weird position. Yeah, it's sheep and cabbage, our producer just told us, the four E. Four E. call. Yeah. I know, I know, I mean, it it's, would be exactly the same word in Danish. I'm just, like, scared to try and say it, but, um... What is it, call? Call? Korv? No. But I thought Korv was, like... Yeah, no, yeah, no, bad. no, it's... No, never mind. Oh, shit, this is me. I will we'll do, like, a... We'll do a whole translation another day. This is going to be way too <laughs> elaborate. <laughs> well, Hellraiser's at least had enough money to go for a buy, which I wasn't even really convinced they would have been. But they could probably end up losing this whole first half if they don't actually win this round. They, they, there's so much riding on this right now for them. Because it's going to be 10, maybe even 11-1 before they get a chance to do something here again. Unless they start winning. They're up in apartments. But they're going to get found by Jacob. He has that really uh, good angle. Yeah, that is a nasty angle, actually. Right, sitting there in the flatbed <clears throat> of the truck. Just yeah. You only can see his head at that point, basically. And if you don't react, he's got your whole body there. It's going to be brutal. So now, once again, Hellraiser's looking like they want to take this towards the A site. They do have some gear to work with this time, at least. They have three smokes still, two Molotovs. So there are some options here to try and force LGB out into the open or block them off. Now do Hellraiser's find the opportunity because they've got 35 seconds left now. Good stuff from Kucha. Getting the return of Frank. Two people in pit and 30 seconds is just not a lot. Flamey's getting in here, but if they notice the bomb, and if the bomb drops out on quad, then the whole thing can fall apart here. Flamey getting the... Oh, not getting the kill. Doja coming through with one. But again, the clock is so low. Hellraisers, it's the same story over and over again. Doja wants to make his way into the site, and he's at least going to get the bomb on this time, but it's too late. He's trapped inside. Fire rains in on him. He has to move, and Jacob being a hero inside the pit there. Going to have to wait for the fire to disappear, but they've got plenty of time for it. Actually, <laughs> look at Polly. Man, good triple from Jacob. Yeah, Jacob is really playing very well right now. That's, it is, it is, watching Hellraisers, it really feels like watching five people who have all decided to play their own individual game. They just happen to be on the same side, on the same server, on the same team, but... 
But they're sort of all, you know, playing like, I will, I've decided to go and find a frag somewhere. Mm -hmm. You guys do whatever you want, but I'll do that. No, it really is that. <clears throat> I mean, it's almost as if they're trying to embody, like, Nip or Envy or somebody. I mean, there, even there, there's some kind of structure. There's some kind of communication. It just doesn't seem like Hellraisers have that going for them at all right now. Yeah, look at this setup. This is what I'd, I'd love to see more stuff like Hellraisers. Like, flashbang, smoke in, and run. Like, e e this is, like, the most basic stuff that you could probably pull on Inferno. But there's a reason why people do it, and it's because it's, it quite often works. Polly gonna pick up one kill, misses the next shot. Flashbang is over. Now, if they can just speed up behind this, there's a real chance here. Doja gets the kill. Polly smoked off. Look at the success rate already. Yeah, this is very this, solid work. This has to be written up in the Hellraiser's log right now as a successful push. Even if they don't win it, because they only have pistols, it's really hard to win from here on out. But still, great job. Two kills, including an AWP. They got the bomb down. They still in the rifle. Really good stuff. Adrian goes down, sadly, and Doja here can't hold his sight. But still, if they do this with rifles... Man. I love it. I just want to see more of it. Yeah, it comes down to Polly missing that second shot as well. I mean, I believe it was Doja who was able to make a pass and then take out Zevez. Zevez wasn't able to land a headshot on him. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a couple of things that happened there that allowed for Hellraisers to get in, but they should definitely attempt B site. I mean, clearly they're not getting any joy on the A site. So the fascination there should, uh, should be changed up. Let's see here what Hellraisers do now, though, because of that plant on that eco, now they have all the money they need, although Kucher is still going glass cannon, so that's going to be painful for him if he gets into a firefight. But really, Kucher isn't a... Oh, well, I cursed him, Anders. Yeah, that was almost like an Olaf Meister level shot, um, like he did over at Pantomero. He, he got a really, really keen headshot um, off on someone jumping past there with the AWP. This time, not so cool for Kucher. They lose the entry frag, but they could bring it back. And right now, it's cool if they just play for get to get the refrag on somebody. And they could do it together. But if they have someone they trust, I mean, that guy can try and try and work for a, re for a refrag as well. Very nice. And you see them all pre-aiming that spot that Rubino was playing from. Now Rubino is going to be avoiding that. And you can see it. He immediately backs off, changes up, changes up his angle. Right now, if they commit, Rubino has a shot. Now he spots him out, and he still loses the duel. Rubino did everything right, but Angel just managed to land the shot first there. Nicely done by Angel. Now that they're in an even position again, now they need to start working together. They kind of had to take a risk to get to this position, but now they got to really make this work. Polly, not going to catch anyone. It's going to be all up to Rain. But, you know, having one guy alone here against four people, it, Rain is not a bad uh, person to have left. Rain is the perfect person to have here, actually. Molotov is going to force him out into the open. However, he spots them going for the boost, though. Too much given, and he's going to get two kills. This is the difference. Rain will lock this site down single-handed. He's going for the fourth one, while well, triple kill in the end, but that is just a sick performance from Rain. Keeping his cool, getting out of the flames, not overcommitting, just getting out into the open. As soon as he spots him, just locks it down. Yeah. I'm wondering if they took too long staying in CT spawn and, and outside as well. If they if they all just group up. I mean, maybe they didn't exactly realize that there was only rain in here. Maybe they mm -hmm. thought there was going to be another guy construction or something, so they wanted to, to try and play it a little bit safely, but... Ah, oh, it's, it's painful because that was a good comeback from Hellraisers into the round to begin with. This time they pick up Polly and they are going to speed up. And I think speed is the key right now. Sevis goes down. Great entrance from Hellraisers. Absolutely perfect. This time, no hesitation. Oh. But Rubino, he almost killed two that way. And they're wow. still spraying through the grenade. Oh, it's going to be a touchdown. Not quite. They barely live. I think they got out and dodged them. But that could have been, been a double kill with the grenade. Oh, that's a great smoke going down the block off construction. Jacob, he's going to try and light it up. Force them out into the open. He gets spotted on the edge. However, good angle there by Doja. But now Rubino should... No, Doja doesn't even give him the chance to react. Rain, however, it's his time to shine again. But they're backing off into construction. And this is the right move from Hellraisers. Just play the angle. He has to get on that bomb. And there's two of them. They can peek him at the same time. Why are they running out one after the other? There's I not going to be enough time. Rain is holding it. And <laughs> Edren is going to come in and take him out so he goes up with the bomb and it's a bit sad for hellraisers because the one round they win everybody dies yeah meaning if they lose this upcoming round it's probably gonna be um Curtains. 13 to, to 2 for lgb it's already a good score line like 11 4 would still be pretty good for lgb considering hellraisers are supposed to be doing better on t side here but um right now they're not i do like the fact that they they managed to sort of speed up behind the initial frag they got i think that's really good no, no more hesitation on their side really
But LGB is still able to put together a decent buy. So this isn't too bad, actually. This is going to be the biggest round of the half, practically, because it's the difference between life or death here for Hellraisers. They need four rounds. So this is it. Now is their time to shine. They've got the grenades. They're going to just go straight for a site this time because they are very limited. No smokes. The flashes, and they're just running right into the blender. Rain with the double spray down. Jacob waiting a pit. Catches Adrian trying to get out of the apartments. And that pretty much ends it. Flamey, Coacher running away, and Jacob hears he, he heard that. Yeah, the thing is, they can't even run away and hide at this point because there's so much time left on the clock. That's now a triple for Rain going for the quad, but not quite going to pick it up. So, <clears throat> last man standing, Kucha, 1v4. And um, it looks like that 13 to 2 scoreline is very likely at this point. Ruben with the final pickoff and. Annihilation. Yeah, they just don't have any money here. This is definitely a slaughter, yeah. Man, the rise of Scandinavian Counter-Strike, pretty much, man. The LGB are just looking very good right now. And yeah, and I mean, <clears throat> the thing is, there is actually enough talent in the Norwegian team to pick up, like, a second team. You could do that. Like, they're probably missing Mock, Hoyland, Skirk, um, yeah. Sentries out there somewhere as well. Like, there's Ensa, who was previously in this LGB lineup. You could make a, a secondary team, which that would be really powerful. Um, so, yeah, why not go for it? Jacob? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Did he do a double take into bedroom thinking, can I make this? Can I go for the peaceful option and just run? But that was never going to be the case here. Adrian with a good pick off. Second kill comes in on Rubino. Great stuff here. The tech nine. That's the answer. Flashbang out and he does steal a rifle. They should get the bomb plant down though. It's going to actually take a long time here. Angel trekking his way over through apartments. That total lack of fear, man. But Zevez misses the read he could have had the perfect timing to ruin hellraiser's day there because that bomb making its way out of apartments he would have been in position to catch him on the balcony instead now zevez he's gonna have to wait for Polly to rotate over from that b site there is already the triangle of doom set up here on this a site hellraisers all they have to do is play it patient <laughs> yeah and adrian's like no i have no patience somewhere i'm just gonna try and go for it and he did get the kill so that's what some you're right. I think you, they should have paid, played patiently. They don't have to fight at all here. But Angel going to get the last kill in 12 13. So they managed to save just a little bit at the end. But uh, it's nowhere near an acceptable half for uh, for Hellraisers here. And Rain picking up, what, 23 kills in 15 rounds? Damn. Yeah, damn, son. That's that's <coughs> impressive. Pauly and Zev is not really sitting on too many frags. They did, they really didn't see too much action over on the uh, B site. And when they did, they kind of just got nixed. So. That's, uh, that's the main thing. Hellraiser's just deciding to run into the three strongest players on LGV round after round, and that's uh, that's going to be uh, a bit of a brutal uh, situation. But now we swap sides. Hellraiser's on the CT side, LGB on the T side. In this pistol, and Doja goes running right up into bedroom and picks off Rain to start. That's an excellent kill. That's the first man you want to get off the map for the Nords. Oh, definitely. With him out of the way, they're going to keep going anyway. Adrian, nice mid-air shot there, trying to reload. Doja helping out a little bit, and Jacob goes down. So it's all on Ruben, a 1v4, and it's not going to work. Doja with a quad kill at the end here with the pistol. Great round from him. And that's the power That's the power that they have within this team. Doja is not the only one. I'd say Flamey is a good candidate, and they just they have the players. They just don't have the cohesion to make it work. Now they're buying three... MP9s. What is this madness? What is this madness? It's almost like Hillary is saying we want to take like the the largest risk we possibly can because in, in a fight between Tech 9 and MP9, I'm definitely picking the MP or the Tech 9. Sorry, and here we go. Tech 9 with the first kill here. They're trying to charge on up. They've done damage to rain. They can actually do this, and they're burning alive back there. Hillary is setting up a nice trap, but Doja will go down. That was Service finding a kill. Now they're in a weird position. Up in apartments, Adrian is basically controlling the fate of Hellraisers on this map. Great kill for him to get, though, and he still makes it out of there alive. That should not have happened. No. <laughs> How did he only take that little damage? That angle he was playing was just, it worked so well. They're going to get the bomb plant, however. So LGB, they should be pleased with that. They get two kills, they get a bomb plant. Not too bad for a second round. So it's not the end of the world, but I definitely think that Adrian, he can count his lucky stars right there, man, because he should have gone down in that scenario. He did luck out, kind of, and pick up the pick up the one with the most health. Health, rather. Yeah. But um, for the rest of LGB to miss the shot on him, to not get that kill on Adrian, that was definitely a mistake. 
Yeah, that looked a little bit uh, weird there. But good stuff from Hellraisers. I mean, they are starting to pick up a couple of rounds here. And who's to say they can't make it back and uh, and do some sort of comeback? They they have had good results on Inferno in the past. So wouldn't be without precedence. Now, LGB obviously going to be for, uh, sort of echoing this round. They've bought a couple of pistols, but that is pretty much it. Nothing too exciting to, to talk about yet. But if Hellraisers get really close to the edge here and somehow the right flashbang comes through, I mean, they can still lose control, so got to be a little bit careful at least. Oh. That's not really doing the damage. Nice flash, though. Flamey falling back. Flamey deciding to hold his ground. He's going to get the triple again. Flamey and Angel just going to town, locking down this B site. Angel still alive, and he gets run and gunned. What? Wow, Polly, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, boy, give Polly a pistol. He's a little, he's gonna surprise you. That was really, really cool, especially that last kill coming in. That was really fast and great game sense as well, because he just instantly realized there could have been someone here already. The timing is for it. Now he's in the back and still in a very tough position. It's looking for an ace here to win this eco. He's gonna get one more kill. Adrian coming through. Polly's ready. He's just waiting in the background here. He's got the tech nine. Now the grenade finishes it. Oh, Adrian, that's almost heartless. Should have given him a fighting chance there, but that's still very impressive. Polly is stepping it up so much today. Yeah, he is really. I mean, <clears throat> what he did versus Fnatic this round right here, that was sick. And the fact that now, I mean, that was way too expensive. Look at Hellraisers. All of their money is gone. Adrian is the only one who has any kind of bank. That was far too expensive for Hellraisers. If LGB win this right here, Hellraisers are going to have their backs to the wall. There is nowhere to back up here. So let's see. I mean, Kucher, once again, going for that AWP. Polly has got one as well. And Polly is burning to death. He has to get out. Ooh. Well, that's painful. But they're going to get the entry fag regardless. And that was up in apartments. Doja playing. And just to point this out again, I'm not trying to be mean, but Doja's in a position up there where unless he wins the fight, they're just down a man. There's no one there that can refrag that kill. And you can set up an app so that that's possible. You could have a guy in boiler and a guy pushing in you know, the main corridor of apps, and then you're going to be fine. No. Oh, Adrian, he just barely gets that. I thought he was done for. And actually, Rain, surprised that he did not get that kill, considering all the time that they both had. It's like if a spray lasts as long as a second, you're just like, what is going on? <laughs> that is not supposed to happen. But Especially with the M4A1, it's so accurate. I mean... It is, it is. Um, I mean, that's why I stuck with it, man. PP lasers. But... Polly's actually sticking out of abs with the AWP. That's kind of weird. That's the last guy up there. The Ruben with a good frag there on Angel, but they still got to do something about the guy in sight. I think it's Flamey holding in here. Kucha goes down. It's a 2v3, but look at the health on LGB. Adrian can finish this round so quick that there's 25 seconds left, and he's just looking for the frag. I think he spotted someone over there, and that's going to be the kill on Jacob. Bomb is dropped for a second. Good shot from Polly. And now it's all on Flamey. All the way in the back here. 10 seconds left. They flash. And they're going to go for the plant instead of the fight. And they could have probably tried to fight him right there. Now they've run away, and they're just going to leave him. Clever play from LGV. This is so painful now. Well, no, now it's actually a whole lot better. Flamey doesn't have a kit, though. Is there anywhere? Uh, is there a kit anywhere on this site? Rubino doesn't care. There's a triple kill here. Really good round. Surprised that uh, Polly played that close. I am as well. I thought he backed off into the hallway. Yeah, he, he could just be the guy standing around listening. Yep. Waiting and, and seeing if anyone is there. And then call for Ruben if anything really went down. But it is what it is. 13 to 6. And Hellraisers, they go for the uh, AWP and, and pistol situation, basically. They're just hoping that this one orb can land them some great entry frags. And they're not wrong either. Jacob goes down. Good start. Now they can move Adrian back and try and keep LGB guessing. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, Kutra isn't actually going to be the one who's... He, he might pass that off to Kutra right now. But he's decided to hold on to it. Flamey. He's looking for that AK. They're trying to spray on. Perhaps trying to keep him off of it. But they cannot quite get the angle right. Angel now could return fire if he wanted to. But this is an excellent situation here for Hellraisers. I mean, of course, LGB, all they have to do is sit back here. Wait out the smokes. That's going to be the last one here on the B site. But they're, they're getting impatient. They want to go for the boost instead. And that's not going to work. Angel pace, patiently waiting. If he stays here and they end up going A, 
And they will have some advance notice, because Dosha's up in the apps this time, and he's in bedroom, which is actually... If you're gonna be alone, this is not such a bad pick. And he does have a friend down there as well. Adrian is there with the AWP. They could push up behind them. This could actually work out for Hellraisers. They're rotating people over. They have, for once, a really good read here in Doja, that big off Rubino. Nice play here from the CT side. Adrian with another kill with the AWP. Walks out, gets the third one. It's going to be poly dropping, and that's going to be a quad kill. Great round from the Kazakhstanian player. And we're at 13 to 7. That's what I want to see a lot more of from Hellraisers. It even looked like there was some really good communication going on as they, they got the info quick that something was going on. They started with the rotation. I was about to suggest that they could have pushed up behind LGB if they felt really confident it was going to be an A push. But even just having a rotation right now is, uh, you know, I'm clapping with my hands. It's good stuff. Yeah, that's definitely uplifting. Uh, and it's going to be another eco out of LGB. So Hellraisers, man, they actually have a bit of a chance to breathe here for a minute. Question is now LGB. It's looking like it's going to be a B take here, but a fresh smoke going down. Do they set it up with the HEs? Well, these HEs are going to go down, and Jacob just barely dodges it. Rain actually taking quite a bit of damage there. But the flash, do they not try and flash through the smoke and just go running? They could. They could. It's not an unreasonable idea. Just uh, wasting a little bit of time off the clock and. Jacob, what an opening on Flamey. There's a P250 and it didn't look like one shot range. Maybe he tanked him up a little bit earlier. Rubino are going to take down Doja. It's a round that Hellraisers can't afford to lose, but they're going to lose Adrian as well. What's going on? Kucha finally coming through the shot and the bomb is going to be planted no matter what. And Hellraisers, they, they could try and fight this, but if they lose the rifles, they're pretty going to be echoing. Yeah, I don't even know what to think at this point about this. Like how does it get out of control? How does Hellraiser, how do Hellraisers lose this? Now Kutcher finally takes out one, but it's far too late. And he's far too low on HP. They have to back off. Kutcher is definitely having a bit of a rough match this time around. Only six frags so far in the game. But hmm. it gets into this position again because they're essentially they're alone in most of their positions. Mm. Yeah, um, you cannot they need to be overlapping basically. They can't not Especially versus like eco rounds like this, where you're, you're most likely going to be facing multiple terrorists that are just going to try I mean, and run you down with pistols. <clears throat> the way that Flamey went down, I can kind of forgive that because it's not that uncommon for someone like Flamey to be holding alone in his position. Yeah. But over at Archway, why isn't there a guy quad? Why isn't there a wide guy in Ninja Corner that could sort of peek out and go and get the kill really quickly? Like, there's so much that they could do for these kind of setups that they just seem to uh, avoid entirely. 14 to 7 here. LGB with a really sizable lead and. Hellraiser's having big issues connecting the dots right now. And if they start losing now, I mean, uh, their economy is so bad. Kucha, rather aggressive push up at apartments here. Not necessarily a bad idea. Although, again, he does kind of not have anyone with him here to, to get the uh, the refrag if anything goes wrong. Angel gets one, not the second kill. And now, coming around the corner is going to be Doja. He smoked it off preemptively. And Kucha's fallen back down in pit. And it's not such a bad idea here for LGB to back off and be patient as well. They got the damage in. They picked up somebody. They, this is now advantage LGB. They forced Hellraisers to use a lot of their nades as well right now. Whereas they still have a lot of their gear. So this isn't too bad a scenario here. LGB can afford to give up a few seconds. Wait and see if anybody on Hellraisers is going to peek out. But Kucher's waiting on the angle. And he misses the flick somehow. Yeah, just a little bit uh, a pixel. I think he basically shot right between the wall and the players. So... That's a real shame. And now they're going back into... Well, I think they're going to end up at B, but these smokes that are raining in here from Rubino are going to be indications of an A push, a very, very common smoke as well. Usually there's two, which might actually be a tell that uh, something else is going on. Kucha not going to miss this shot, but no one rotating out of B either. Adrian in a great position here. They could definitely win this round. Just one max seven shot, and it should be all over. There it is. Flamey actually the one picking that one up, and in the background, he's going to get the kill on Rain as well. Ten seconds for Rubino to get this kill on Flamey and put the bomb down first. Mission accomplished. Now, he needs more. And Kutcher stops running just at the right time there, but they are both coming in together. Doja looking back. Is there the shot? He's going to go for it, Rubino, and he's going to drop Doja down to half HP, but it is not going to be good enough. Not this time, at least. Doja <clears throat> keeps his cool, and Kutcher isn't even necessary in this retake. So that is very nicely done there. Bit of an off timing there, bit of a mistake made by Zevas as well, running before that smoke popped. There could have been a lot more pressure over on that A site, but 
it wasn't the case this time for LGB. No, not this time, but I'm glad to see the Hellraisers didn't freak out and just look over rotate because they're under so much pressure. That's, just, that's really when you're going to start making like basic mistakes and, and run before you see the bomb or anything like that. So, you know, credit to them for not uh, not giving up the B-bomb site too easily. Smoke out for Kucha. Going to land at the bottom of Banana and um, at the top of Banana, we've got the rest of at least two players from Hellraisers waiting. They are doing significant damage right here. Flaming with a good double, but it's going to be returned and Angel, he gets one and it's not going to be... Any kind of comeback from LGB this time around, they were a little bit too busy throwing grenades and yeah. not busy enough shooting. I'm surprised at the number of nades there. But 2v4 right now. They know that somebody's mid, but there isn't a whole lot for LGB to go off of, really. 2v4 on Inferno. It's a nightmare. And I'd almost like to see them just go for, like, smoke on CT, smoke coils, and run onto that B site. See if they can't just get in there. Slow play, though. I yeah. mean, they still have 50 seconds, but this is going to get to the point where they really just need to kind of get in here. And B site could be the right place to go because there are so many angles to check on A site. You do feel very exposed running in here. Yeah, I agree. I mean, they waited a while. They waited around for just a second, seeing if Hellraisers were going to come and peek them somehow. And obviously, that's not happening. So now they got to rely on some stunning entry frags here. That's the only way to get back into this round. And they could start off with Pit here. They're waiting, they're in a good position, but now they've been spotted out and backup is going to come in here with just 20 seconds. They really can't go anywhere else at this point, so they have been found out, but they're going to get both the entry frags. Oh no, Hellraisers deciding to fight essentially before the bomb plant is even attempted. And um, that caught them in a weird position now. That pr practically gifted LGB this round now. Both members, however, in Pit and Polly decides to run out into the open. Perhaps trying to bait it. Do they know that Rubino is here? I think they're going to go and check it. The reaction. Does he get the... He doesn't jump the gun. Such patience out of Rubino right now. They really are trying to thoroughly check Pit. Rubino with the spray on. What is a double spray? What a gambit. What a play. And he even saves the AWP for Polly afterwards. That, I think, was like next level mind games. Polly's like, nobody is here, guys. You kill me. Don't mind Rubino. Yeah, very, I mean, very impressive. Very, a lot of patience, like you said, to, to not, you know, jump the gun and be, and be too aggressive when he probably would have died. Even if he got the first kill, there's a good chance he could have been returned upon. And now it's map point currently here for LGB Hellraisers. They've got pistols, five sevens and a lot of them, but um, it's not really what you're looking for at this point in the time. Good kill from Kucha though. The only from us in play, gonna take up a kill and Angel with one more here. So looking good right now, but it's hard to feel like Hellraisers are basically fighting at this point to just kind of buy a couple of more rounds, but for them to make the full comeback, they're just not playing, you know, cohesively enough. There's too much, too much randomness in the mix. Too much wishy-washiness going on here. <clears throat> that was a nice, uh, I mean, that was a nice push down banana there for Hellraisers. It was, but that last round, when they were in that 2v4, if you're not feeling 100% confident you can pick up the kills and the guys coming in, you can even allow yourself to just say, well, I'll stay in pit and not peek. Mm -hmm. You stay over at, you know, library and wait. Let him put the bomb down. And then rotations come in, we'll go for the retake. No problem. That, that would have been like 100% success for, uh, for Hellraisers because there's no way you can hold a bomb site while you're inside the bomb site against four people. That's just not happening. But I don't know. They, the communication is not the best right now. Angel with some good damage on Rubino here. Going to give them a good shot at winning this round at the very least. Rain wanting to go around the corner, but then a wrap around back oh, for CT, what? and they have just been utterly outplayed. Wow. Does Adrian make it back here in time? Adrian still got two nades, but I think they're going to have a smoke. Yeah, they're going to have a smoke to block off Banana. Adrian can go for the spray, though. He spots them. He's got an edge to work with, but Pauly saves the day, gets the kill on him with the AWP. Man, Rubino's so low. Pauly, Rain, just so little HP right now on LGB's side. Man, that's some really, really quick thinking going on on the LGB team. I'll try and explain exactly what happened here. Angel and Kucha left, and they will get a kill on Polly. Maybe it's not over yet. Rain is waiting over by Flowers, and they're going to check the back of site. Ruben, oh, oh this is going to be the save. Rain peaking exactly at the right time, and LGB are going to win the map 16 to 8. But essentially what happened that round is they could make the assumption that there was someone either B or apartments, because or sorry, in, uh, in apartments or in pit, because there's pretty much been that the whole game for, for LG, for, for Hellraisers. Mm -hmm. And they almost got killed by Angel. So they realized there was two people there. 
They wait around for just a second in archway and think, wait a minute, if there's two people here, there's only one guy left. They couldn't know Adrian has pushed all the way down to, to you know, T-Ramp. That was just, like, really, really lucky on their part. Sure. But um, at that point, you know, they just, they just you know, do the quick calculation and say, let's play 3v1 against Adrian. The fact that they managed to smoke him out and he can't get the kill is just, like, a huge bonus for them. Well, that poly, man. Po like, if he's yeah. allowed to spray for even half a second longer there, I bet you he just gets two. Yeah, probably. And then LGB, they're left out in the cold in but that scenario. That, exactly that situation is what we talk about uh, when we...